Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to build an XR Studio from scratch within Disguise. We're using R23 today, but this should work as far back as R20, minus a couple of the extra mapping and features. So, okay, start off with this is the default project, so we'll get rid of our projector and projector surfaces. So we'll just remove these and we'll start adding our LED screen. So we have three we have a roof a main wall and some floor. So I'll start off with the main wall, main LED, go our roof LED, and our floor, floor LED. Okay, so our main LED is eight by four, and 1.9 pixel pitch. So I'm just gonna type in the millimeters. So 8,000 divided by the pixel pitch. And the same for the next one which is 1.9 pixel pitch. Our roof LED is four by five, and this is 4.8 pixel pitch, so. There we go, and then our floor is eight by three. Eight by three. Amazing, so floor, let's go minus 90 degrees. And now our main LED, I'm gonna raise this up to two meters to get it on the floor. And our roof LED, oh, I've done that in the wrong dimension, so. There we go. And we'll rotate that as well. We'll just freely place this one roughly where it is in the studio. Kind of like that. Cool, so now that we can see some things, let's add a test pattern. So I'm gonna add a layer of test pattern. I'm just gonna direct map this to everything. So I'm gonna make a new mapping, call it all LED, direct, and now we'll add everything to it. So floor, main, and roof LED. And now I'm just gonna change this, the appearance of the surfaces so it's only on the front. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier to preview it. Sweet, there we go, there's our studio. Uh, so the next steps, we need to make the camera. So we'll do that, call it cam one. Drag that into a position like this. Awesome. And now that we have that, we need to make a mixed reality set. So I'll just open one and call it MR set. Add our camera to that. And then we'll also add our stages. So we'll just do the floor and the main LED. We'll leave the roof for now because we don't really need that in the MR set. Okay, so now we want to put some content on the wall. So let's just add another layer to our timeline and we'll just go render stream. Here we go. So first we want to choose our asset. So I've just made a small Unreal project. Cluster pool, we'll make one. So we'll call this cluster. I'll just add my desktop, but this is where you'll see your render nodes. And now I we'll choose our channels. So in this case, I've got three cameras within my Unreal scene for different things, but we're just gonna use main camera for now. Set our mapping to our MR set backplate. And then we'll check our default assigner. And we'll see this is what we want. We're running on a laptop, so compressed is fine. And we'll leave that as is for now. We'll just check that our scene is on the one that we want, which is main, correct? And we'll just hit start. At this point, it will build shaders if you need to. If you set up a DDC, then you won't have to. But we'll give this a few minutes. Okay, so we're still building some shaders, but we got visuals as well. See the, uh, it's warped on the wall. But from the camera's perspective, we're in the right spot, so we can freely move around this project. 
Let's see. But we'll notice our little puck is floating. So we want to change the origin point of the scene. We want to move where the cameras are in Unreal Engine. And to do that, we go with under our MR set backplate under mappings in the channels. So right click that. And now we have to make a scene origin so we can move ourselves around. So we'll just open this and call our scene origin SO for now. Scene origin. And we can move our engine offsets and actual offsets. So we can move this around. This is the height. And we'll move our character forward. So now when we move the scene around, see if they're pretty close to being in the right spot. So we can see they are floating a little bit. So we might change, adjust some settings within Unreal Engine itself. But this is pretty close for now. So that was a pretty speedy overview of how to get content from Unreal Engine onto an XR stage inside Disguise. There'll be some uh, follow-up tutorials on how to map outer frustrums to all of your LEDs.